the next day and I wanted to show what I got yesterday. And so let's get started. Oh, total I paid, I think $260, which is a bit much. I prefer to keep it less, but I get a few items that were expensive, but I can resell them for a lot more. Overall, as you probably saw in the video, a lot of the prices are crazy, like overpriced. <laughs> so you know you have to be very careful anyway this i just got for myself it's old navy nothing special but i really like the style and clothes you can pick up really inexpensive there so this was like two dollars or so and this one ivanka trump dress it was five dollars i also might keep it for myself it was half off and this brand i found and it sells sometimes really good and sometimes not as great elana katan i don't know if you can see this um it's kind of like art to wear and this one is like a mesh pencil dress with little ruching with a uh, sheer sleeve so I wasn't sure, but I thought this was very cute, artsy style. So I'm gonna try to um, see if either keep it or or resell it. Sky, come here. There's my puppy. Come on. She might be barking, so you know. Hopefully you're a dog lover. <laughs> I got this like a kimono as a cover-up also for myself most likely I like this maroony color and it was half price I don't really get a whole lot of things for myself but always when like season is changing come on girl when season is changing I try to get a little bit for myself next I wasn't sure if to get this this was full price but it was only $2.99 it is free people, like very, I thought, 90s Y2K little body con dress. So it looks very retro, maybe it's authentic 90s, not sure, but I thought for that price, I'll give it a try because it's free people is still, you know, name brand and it has style to go with it. So I'll give it a try for that price. I wouldn't pay up for it for sure. This I just got for myself. I thought it was so cute for summer. Okay, so um, I got a lot of, um, not a lot, but some, dra some dresses and some bags. That was my main focus this time because my idea is to get things that I can get the most for. I know you can sell jeans and pants and other things for a lot sometimes, but from my own experience, what sells well for me is dresses, uh, belts, purses, and shoes. For tops, I feel like you cannot get as much. Occasionally, if you get a really high-end brand, yes, you can, but... Um, Overall, I feel like dresses, especially in spring, are more my thing. And pants, I did just sell a pair of jeans for a hundred dollars or over a hundred, and it happens sometimes, but it's pretty rare and they usually sit forever for me. I know some people love jeans, but maybe because I am not like a big jean person. Anyways, this is first one first bag I thought it was so cute and when I saw it I knew immediately what it was but um, yeah somebody just didn't know what it was because it doesn't have the usual huge logo that Brighton has but I knew the lining was uh, on point and the logo was actually inside the pocket which is harder to find so they didn't see it because all the other Brighton bags they had for like 40 30 some dollars 
and this one's only $6.99 and also has the charm. It's pretty good condition. Outside is really good. Inside is a little bit dirty, but yeah. So I, this was pretty good deal. Not always happens. They really overprice everything there extremely. Next, I also got this one for a pretty good deal. Usually, the B. Makovsky purses there, they price them for like 25 and up. So a lot of them were for like 50. I do like selling Makovsky brand. Uh, always sells well. People know it. People love it. It's good quality leather. So when I saw this one, I thought it was so cute color for spring. It has a few dirty areas, but I think they will come off. Looks like just like a surface stain, nothing major, not really wear on the leather. Looks great inside and it was $7.99. So yeah, that was good deal in my opinion. Yeah, I have to leave a lot of good stuff behind because it's just too expensive. So even though I could definitely flip it, like they had some coach bags that were from this season coach. So it's like right in store still for 390 or so. Um, they had them there for around $50, which is great deal if you're buying it for yourself but um i feel like i don't want to put this kind of amount in one item and then wait on it to sell you know so they have a lot of good deals it's just not maybe for resellers so next i thought this was so cute for spring uh and i knew what it was because i just sold dress the same print it's a ted baker which not always is super expensive this Looks really good. Overall, it has a little bit like dirt over here, but I think I can just wipe it and it will come off. And it was $5.99. So again, they didn't notice there is a tag right there. So thankfully they didn't overprice it because other Ted Baker they have for like $30 or so. And this is not as expensive Ted Baker, you know? Anyway, next one, I got this coach bag. I've sold the exact bag a few times already. And I, this one was in excellent condition. Really, really good condition. Very rare for the vintage coach to be this good. Or maybe it's not vintage. Maybe it's that um, retro style. Either way, um, really good condition. It was priced at $50.00. But it was half off otherwise i wouldn't get it for 50. even though i probably will be able to sell it for around 80 to 150 depending i have to check the comps for this one but that's i always sell quickly for me next i got bot gear which i knew right away that it was it um because not not because the logo is here because I saw it this way but just they have this specific style and I actually like this brand it's leather bag it was $5.99 but it is a little bit damaged not really any wear on it but the lining came off so I think I'll be able to just stitch it we'll see and otherwise looks excellent condition so I thought this was easy enough the most I don't like cleaning up bags but I can sew little things like that. Okay. Next, um, I got this bag. It has a little bit of wear, but it's vintage and it's Rodo. Love selling this brand, always sells well for me. The belt or the strap is a little bit broken. A little bit wear on it, but those bags sell for around 100 for me usually. And it was half price, so I thought with a little bit TLC or even without the strap. I mean, this is a clutch. You don't need it. You don't need a strap. Or you can put any other strap on it because it has the little uh, hooks there. So I thought it was a good deal for $5. Uh, next, I actually end up getting a really good deal. Some of you might know what it is. 
and I love selling this brand. It is Fry. It's a Fry bag in this adorable color, like a red, maroon, genuine leather, main, meant to look worn. It is Fry, and I got it, I believe, for $12 or something. It didn't have a price, and that was actually good for me. Sometimes I'll bring it to the register and if they don't, they're busy and they don't care, they will just price it lower. And they asked their manager and they did, they showed them the picture and they priced it for, I think like $12. So that was a good deal for me. Those bags sell for around, depending from 50 to 150, depending on style. I have to look up this specific one. Either way, it was a great deal for the price and it looks excellent condition, so that was good. But it is, it takes forever to buy there because they do have amazing stuff. They have, this is my favorite place to go. They have amazing stuff all the time, okay? But a lot of times they overprice it, so, you know, I cannot buy what I wish because of that because it's like crazy expensive and it makes no sense to resell for that price and um, yeah so a lot of times I have to you know buy what makes sense not really for what ah my allergies are bothering me I'm trying not to scratch my nose with my fingers because you know I'm touching with this stuff anyway all right let me get focus. <laughs> Sky, come here. Next, I got this um, dress. It is Luca Orlandi, which is amazing brand for purses. I couldn't really find very good comps online, but it is silk. Sky, come here. And I thought it was so cute in 90s style with this thin spaghetti strap and it's all embroidered. You know, I thought it was so neutral and timeless. And it was for $2, so hey, I'll give it a try. Sky, come here. Let me get my dog here. Come on. <laughs> come on. You're barking away. Sit here. Sit. Sit, girl. It, it's okay. Just sit. All right. Ah, ah. She sees a lizard. She's the fender of house and she has to get every lizard. Next one is Alice and Olivia, Olivia size four dress. And it was a little bit much because it was $12.99. Um, I don't like to pay that much for Alice and Olivia. It does sell but sometimes I have to sit on it for a long time. But I thought this was so pretty. It has like a sequin snake uh, pattern and it is an excellent, looks brand new actually, condition. And I mean, this is timeless little black dress. So I had to try it. I had to, I just want it in my closet. <laughs> I wish it fit me. Next, I got this one, and it's just Fashion Nova, but it was new with tag. And I love the colors, and as I mentioned in other videos, sequin cell for me, and it is like a per perfect party dress. What is happening with this strap? Okay. It goes like this. And it's like a ombre sequin maroon size small and it was half price so it was four dollars new with tag so i thought this was amazing and i love the sequins in my closet they look so pretty next item is for me but i know it would have sold anyway because this is cute like a boho this brand is nothing special and it's size small it's a maxi crochet 
uh, very bohemian, like a cover-up, or you can use it as like maxi cardigan. I thought this was so cute. I had to buy it. It was like five dollars. Yeah, five dollars. So this stuff always sells for me every year, every summer, every spring, even fall. I always sell those. If they are like crochet, not the fake lacy, you know, meant to look like crochet, but actual crochet like that, they sell really good. Next one is this Piazza Sampion. I don't know, I'm not pronouncing it right. Made in Italy. I've sold this um, brand before. I actually have some pants from this brand. So I knew the tag. It's a dress, very classy, timeless. Um, it's like a midi length. And um, it was half price, so I paid $7.50 for it. It does have a little spot right there. But I'm hoping it's gonna come off in the wash. I think it will. It looks just like lipstick or something. So that was a good deal. I was trying to get things that my sell and and I can send to Real Real. They do accept this brand sometimes. They do not price it very high, so I'm not sure if I'll sell it myself. But it's good. Next are those adorable shoes from the brand Shoots, which is sold in, at um, Nordstrom. They're size eight and they are, they look like they're from this season because they have the square toe, they're nude. They show not really signs of wear. And look at the heel, look like bamboo. I wonder if it's real bamboo. I just meant to look like it. Adorable. And they were $5.99. And this brand is really expensive. Not as popular for resale, but they're right on trend. So I had to take them. And they didn't have too many shoes that were affordable, that were high-end. They were extremely overpriced. As you saw in the video, some were like $80 for Prada, which can be a good deal for yourself, but not for a resale. So next is the super trendy rib knit like a midi tank dress from zara now, i'm sure this is from recent um uh, season recent style because it's right on trend and it was for 250 so that was a deal midi length amazing timeless piece oh next I know this is also high-end brand, Hugo Buscati. It, I don't know if Real Real accepts it, but, and Real Real is not as great for like black dresses, but I'm sure I will sell it myself if something for a good profit. It's 100% silk, size six, timeless dress. It was $3. What? Allergies are bothering me, especially I'm moving the clothes around. Okay, so next we have some vintage pieces. First is this Lawrence Kazar, which I've sold many times before, and it takes a while to sell sometimes, but he makes such a gorgeous silk dresses. This one is no exception. It is completely beaded, 100% silk, in navy color, which is kind of harder to find with those uh, Aurora Borealis beads, so it shines in every light. Very pretty, you can see it here, maybe better. And yeah, it looks excellent condition, and this one was half off, so it was uh, 650, size small adorable and one more vintage i do not buy too much vintage but i just love the, the art to wear sequin pieces like this one and this one i paid up for it i've seen it sold on poshmark for a hundred dollars and it was another one that was um 
worst condition is this and this one is new tag so it is called dead stock i don't know what's called but it has a tag attached the brand tag and extra beads so i thought it was amazing size teeth medium it was expensive because it was 35 dollars but i know i can sell it for at least a hundred look at this oh my god even as a wedding dress oh my goodness or like a special event this is so amazing so beautiful look at the sleeve with like scallop detail gee this is actually my size i don't have anywhere to go in this but you do feel like a princess when you wear this you know this is so pretty white with gold and silver oh man you don't even need jewelry this is the jewelry <laughs> so and it has this pretty back little keyhole and you know in this condition that was that was special and i actually had people stopping by and asking me about this dress not uh, actually there's one girl that i met her name is wendy i think she's following me if you're watching this hi wendy thank you for talking to me there i'm sorry that i was busy <laughs> and not paying too much attention because when i'm shopping i'm like in the zone but um yeah this was so so beautiful there was a lot more gorgeous dresses Stenai is the other brand that i pick up um when it's like beaded like that and they had another one that was uh full length and they had some other lawrence kazar but i i didn't want to spend more money on you know the same style but it was amazing amazing and here we go to the next bag i promise not too much more sorry for talking <laughs> too much so uh, i left a lot of um high-end pieces because they were selling on real real for like you know 80 which is not worth sending in my opinion and i could have sold them myself you probably seen the pieces on the other part of the video but I have to be a little more selective and this time I really needed to send some stuff there. It's good to have many streams of income. So I was trying really hard to be good and buy mostly stuff to send and you see I got a bunch of them to sell myself anyway. But Next we have vintage Talbots size 8 100% linen trench coat in navy. This is so beautiful. It's in excellent condition. It has this tortoise, tortoise shell um, buttons. I will try this on, but this is something special. Timeless, perfect for what summer, spring, fall. You can wear it a lot. Very good quality piece. So in size medium and it was half price so I paid four dollars so that was I had to get it sorry I had to <laughs> go against my own idea for the day next we have Nicole Miller which is the collection one not the Nicole by Nicole Miller it was size 12 it was $2.99 amazing deal and it is a little bit bigger size i think size 12 it i think it's linen i have to check looks it feels like linen it's midi length dress yeah it's 55 percent linen and 42 viscose so it's like a ruched it when you put it on it really complements the curve and you know helps you look slimmer it has a little bit stretch to it, a little sleeve. I thought it was so pretty. Wish it would be my size, a little smaller, but I will try it on and model this probably. And the price was amazing, so I got it. Okay, now it's getting gonna get more interesting. Not almost. <laughs> this was made well. 
so cute retro or maybe it's real vintage i don't think so but it's size two so a little bit smaller size but i thought this was right on trend with like y2k denim midi dress with like raw hand so pretty and it does have a little bit stretched but adorable if it fit me i'll probably wear it a few times but no way not size two um so madewell always sells wear well especially dresses tops kind of sit for a while shoes sell good um, and jeans sell really good for me next one this is also a good friend sometimes real real accepted cynthia steffa steffi which is a very expensive brand it is size four little it's like a mini dress but it is in excellent condition and like a chiffon fabric feels like silk and I thought this looks so like 90s retro with like a square neckline I thought it was so cute if it fit me I would probably keep it it's like right above me so perfect for spring and it also was half price it was three dollars and those dresses I've sold before for around you know 50 or so Okay, so now I have a few designer pieces that I picked up and I was lucky that they didn't know what they were. So first was half price, $5. Okay, it has a little bit of like, a, I don't know if it's fading, maybe it's just how it most meant to be. It is 100% silk dress which like a what is it, floating lace neckline as you see maxi gown maxi length gown with like a little detail here ruched and pleated neckline beautiful beautiful piece from marchesa note i don't know i'm pronouncing it wrong it's size zero this brand sells really well. Uh, real Real does accept it. I've sold some dresses for over, you know, 200, 100, 200, depending. The one I sold was uh, like a cocktail dress and was for over 100. So I'm guessing gown might be a little more and it was $5. So I gave it a try. And then next one. I'll, I'll add comps here when I find them. I'm going to be all off on this. This, when I looked up, I didn't know this brand, but look high end has this kind of tap on tag. Thea. Thea. The brand size 8. And feels like taffeta or taffeta or whatever it's pronounced. And it is, I thought it was silk, it feels like silk, but it's not. But it's gorgeous, midi, length, um, like a cocktail special event gown. It says eight and it was $3. <laughs> it's ruched, very cute, covers the knee, navy blue with like a little bit more open back gorgeous gorgeous thing I think it's navy or it's maybe a black I can't tell with this light but it's very pretty and if I'm right I'll add the comps but when I looked in store I found dresses for like 400 and so on and Rio Rio was accepting them so I was like score next one this is gorgeous but it has some unfortunate wear on it as you see the lace came off here here and one more area here but the lace pieces are not missing they're still there so i think i will be able to very gently just restitch them where they were meant to attach 
I have a dress like this that I think was just a dupe for it. And it was just Nordstrom. It is true midi or almost maxi, like an ankle length dress. Gorgeous, gorgeous dress with this halter strap like this and kind of sweetheart neckline. This beautiful hand sewn uh, lace on it. And I think it's a silk, yeah, it's silk, rayon and cotton. And it is from Helen Morley, size 4. This is a really expensive brand, definitely remember this tag, gorgeous. So this will be my money maker <laughs> here. Uh, just a few dresses, I'm sure, more than pay for everything. Maybe two dresses, pay for everything, and everything else will be uh, just pure profit, if I'm counting correctly. And then, at the end, I also found um, two pretty, pretty bags. So this one is gorgeous embroidered bag it has chain strap i don't know if i'm keeping it it was half price and it's from anna sui 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 but i didn't realize there was ant ink so it was uh their um like collab with ink but i looked it up and even Though it's just a collab, it still sells for like around 50 to 100 depending on condition. A lot of them sold for like 40 50 And I got it for half price, so 12 50 But I might just keep it, it's so pretty. And there's none, I think, for sale or maybe one for sale for like 65 right now. So I thought this was so beautiful. It's definitely, I mean, statement piece. Oh, actually it would go with most of the dresses I have there. So this, I thought it was so pretty. It was my mistake, but it was still worth it. And the, oh, this, I, there wasn't, this one wasn't on sale, but I got 20% off. Last piece, and please tell me that this is real. So it is this vintage bag. If you have any experts there, I think it's real. It's definitely genuine leather, very well made, vintage bag. And when I opened it, I've noticed the familiar lining. Okay, it, it was $39 or $34.99 uh, and it was 20% off and it is Fendi. This is Fendi and it is uh, embossed in leather with like uh, gold letters which reminded me of like vintage Celine. That's how their tag look like and it has the the lining looks legit and I mean looks am amazingly well made especially for vintage. So I think it's legit but you know, I am not expert on Fendi. So if you know something, this is all leather, very, very excellently well made. The clasp looks gold plated, genuine gold plated. And yeah, it's a really good condition. So if it is right, I might be able to make a few hundred for it. So I got excited when I saw it, but like I said, I hope it's not fake. So let me know if you know any of it. I hope you enjoyed this um, haul. It is hard work. Don't think this is easy. It is hard work to find nice pieces in the thrift store. Uh, but occasionally you can score like I did this time. And I might be back there on Monday because they had a lot more good stuff and Oh, they had Hermes car for $45 and they resell for about between 300, 400. I might be back for it. Let's see. <laughs>
but they do have amazing deals and they do have amazing stuff all the time just usually it's really overpriced but again i hope you enjoyed this please like share subscribe and thanks for watching bye